Good evening, Fairview community. This is Eric Kincaid from the Fairview School District. Just um, wanting to give you an update of where we are today. This is Monday afternoon. I'm making this uh, short video at around 3.30 p.m. Um, I say short video because I know the last one was very long. I apologize for that. Uh, I am going to uh, attempt my best to keep this one very short. Um, just to reiterate before I get started, uh, as I said in the first video, there are no such thing as perfect plans during this time, and we certainly don't have a perfect one. However, uh, today was an excellent day, really, really good day for our first day of uh, online distance learning. Um, kids actually woke up early and logged on and got their work done, and teachers had the work ready to roll, and uh, boy, it just went uh, better than we ever anticipated for day one. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you parents, thank you teachers, and most importantly, uh, thank you to the students who uh, were willing and eager, I think, most of them, to get up and, and get their work done today and, and bring that sense of uh, uh, normalcy back into their lives. Uh, we just did receive word this afternoon within the hour that the governor has extended the school closure. Uh, with that, we know for sure that we're gonna be out until at least April 6th. Of course, our spring break starts at that time too, so my hunch is that um, uh, we'll be out a little bit longer than that. So let's plan on uh, for now. We're just going to play it by ear week to week, but we know that for sure uh, we, are, we are out through April 6th. Uh, so with that, we will continue with our current plan with our online distance learning. You know the format. Uh, because we started that uh, today and we're up and running and things are going well. A couple of uh, things of interest here. Schoology <clears throat> is really overwhelmed right now, as you can imagine. There are thousands of schools across the country that use Schoology. They are updating their servers and trying to make things better. So be patient with that. It might take a little bit longer to uh, upload something or read something that your teachers have posted for you. So just ver be very patient and uh, let me just ask, and, and I'll say this a couple times probably in this video, communication is going to be the key. Let your teachers know if there's an issue, if you can't see something, if you're having tr trouble loading, and, uh, and they, will, they will certainly work with you. Email them, send them a message through Schoology, let them know what's going on, communicate, 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 and we're asking the teachers uh, to do the same. Um, <clears throat> our special education services, obviously that remains a challenge. Uh, but our staff is really just doing an incredible job reaching out to students and families who need the extra support. And again, please let us know if there's anything, anything that we can do to make your lives easier for, uh, for our kiddos that need a little extra support um, with their learning. Uh, students at this time, you know, I know that this is a challenge, but we're asking you to be problem solvers and we're asking you to be independent learners during this time. And it's a little bit different from what happens in the traditional classroom day to day in school. So we are asking you to uh, to maybe reach outside your comfort zone a little bit, be independent learners, think things through on your own, try to solve problems. But again, if you need help, don't hesitate to ask. <clears throat> Uh, I do have something exciting we're going to start tonight. I've reached out to uh, some of our high school kids um, in the uh, AP English class, and uh, they have started recording for us some children's book uh, bedtime stories, and we are going to launch those so that, uh, so that your children, particularly the younger children, uh, can enjoy a bedtime story uh, read to them. Uh, from one of our high school students, and uh, we're going to do one a week. So look for those on Schoology, and we'll we'll roll those out starting uh, this evening. <clears throat> one other thing, um, you may have seen our our message on Facebook, which really um, uh, blew up uh, f for us to receive that many shares and likes and comments. But our 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 posting regarding making masks for the healthcare community for our local healthcare providers. Uh, we finally have that project up and running. We've been waiting for a template from uh, AHN. We finally got that, and our high school family and consumer science teacher, Mrs. Staub, is in the process, as we speak, of putting that uh, template together and making an instructional video on how to create that mask. So if you volunteered, if you have a sewing machine at home <clears throat> and you have volunteered to support us on that, we're going to be rolling that information out here uh, sometime today, sometime this evening still, uh, so that you can help with that. And uh, we are donating all of the fabric that we have in stock, and Walmart graciously, graciously, thanks to uh, the manager down there, Mr. Burns, graciously donated tons of fabric to us um, uh, from the store that we're going to be able to use for that as well. So we're excited to be able to be a, a small part of the uh, the solution here in 
Erie County for our health care providers. Um, and, you know, just, just, just something I want to mention that uh, obviously this is a very, very difficult time for, for your family and for, for our Fairview family. And um, uh, this too shall pass. We know that, that, that we will be back to school eventually at some point. And when we come back, we're going to be better than ever. We know that. Uh, but let me say that we have received dozens and dozens of positive emails and phone calls and messages from parents and students and community members. And we thank you. We thank you for that. We thank you for your support. We thank you for your cooperation and teamwork. And uh, we, we, we like working with families, certainly, and, and making things as, as good as we possibly can. We are trying very hard to make the best out of this unique situation. And let me emphasize that this really just isn't a time for complaints and for finger pointing and for blaming. It's not a time to be angry and, and to start fights and arguments, but rather it's a time for us to be grateful for what we have. It's a time for us to make the best of this situation. It's a time for us to care for those around us and to offer love and support for our neighbors and for the community as a whole. It's a time for us to come together as a community, as a Fairview School District community, and for us to do what it is we do the best, which is teach our children. And uh, we're not going to be perfect. We know that. Uh, we will make mistakes. I'm sure we made some mistakes today, and my hunch is we'll make some mistakes tomorrow. But we ask that you work with us, you be patient, you be understanding, and that you simply do the best that you can do on your end under the circumstances. As always, Fairview community, it's a great day to be a Fairview Tiger. We remind you, don't count the days, make the days count. And we will, uh, we will be offering some additional messages uh, as we go throughout the week. And um, look for those bedtime stories tonight. Also look for some information if you're participating in making the masks with us, uh, the template and some guidance on how to do those. Seven minutes, not bad, much shorter than last time. Have a great night. Talk to you soon.